Y'all, I'm back. I am here to talk about the ugly truth of being broke that nobody likes to talk about. Guess what? Guess why? Because I'm broke. Yes, I'm broke. That's really no mystery. That's not a secret. But just in case you don't know, just in case you haven't seen my other videos, I, Crystal and Marie Burchett, is flat down broke. And I wouldn't be being real if I didn't share my truth and my journey while being broke as hell. So here's one truth about being broke that nobody talks about. You see this dress that I have on? Yeah. I probably wore this dress maybe three or four times this summer. I try not to take pictures on Instagram when I have it on because I don't want people to think that, you know, I'm just repeating the same clothes or whatever. But why be ashamed of that? I took a picture today on Instagram. I'm making my video in this dress. I'm like, what the hell? Whatever. Y'all, I can't afford to buy new clothes all the time. Actually, I can't afford to buy new clothes ever, like, because I have no steady income, and we on a real strict budget. We trying to win, and clothes is not our priority. Long as we got clothes on our back, long as we got shoes on our feet, we good to go. Um, not to say that we don't ever go shopping, because we do, but it's not like every paycheck, we, don't, we spend it on clothes, we spend it on shoes. I've actually had the same pair of Nikes. I'm gonna put maybe clips or pictures of the stuff I'm talking about. I'm just gonna be all the way like honest. Show y'all what I'm talking about. Put my business all the way out there. I don't care what people think. I'm here to help somebody be real, embrace their process, and just enjoy it. Like who cares? So I've been wearing the same pair of Nikes for like a year. I go to the gym, I go to the playground, I wear them just because, like, same pair of black and white Nikes um, for about a year now. Um, because I'm not balling, like, you know what I'm saying? There's no, nothing really wrong with them, like, they're still wearable, they still lace up, they not talking, they not broken or got holes in them, so why not, you know, like. Let's rock these same Nikes that I've had. The same one pair. One pair, I'm sorry. One pair of Nikes that I've had. I have these jumpsuits. I got one in um, cranberry, gray, and peach. I rotate these same jumpsuits like, say, maybe twice a week. I wash every week. So, once or twice a week, I got one of those jumpsuits on. It's clean, ain't no holes in it, it's whatever. I repeat those same outfits and then on Sundays I try to find, I try to find like a different dress or whatever but for the most part it all ends up being rotated and repeated so I haven't really been shopping like for new clothes and a new wardrobe since I quit my job. Like I don't believe in spending money on clothes and things that I can't afford unless I can really afford it. Like. I'm not really too like keen on trying to look like something I'm not or impress other people by having all the new stuff out and you know being fashion forward it's just not my thing I'd rather have food on the table I'd rather have lights on I'd rather you know August be put together me I come last I know that this is only temporary so I'm not really too worried about it What's another thing? The sacrifices that we make is tremendous. I mean, the downsides that we made, like I said, we live in an attic. Um, we had to come back to his grandmother's house and save money, try to save money, to really work towards something that we really want, like living paycheck to paycheck just to say we out there or just to say we got a place of our own. It's just really not that impressive when you really don't have it. Like, we both were like, why are we doing this? Why are we why are we suffering? Why are we um, putting ourselves through this when we, we have a place to go where we could try to save money? Forget the image. Forget trying to be what everybody else wants us to be. Let's sacrifice this town home that we were living in. Go back, save money, whatever. I said that a million times. But it's like one of the biggest things while being broke, you live and you have to be in places that you necessarily don't want to be. You know what I'm saying? But it's so temporary. Like, it's not it's not that serious like once you look at the real big picture like 
those minor setbacks are like just not a big deal like it's just it's worth it at the end of the day um maybe i'll give you guys like a sneak peek tour of the attic i don't know though i don't know how comfortable everybody will feel about that but maybe just like a quick like a quick turn around real quick you see it now you don't type of thing <laughs> another big thing is um not being able to kick it yeah I, I i can't kick it there's no turn up there's no going out all the time there's no girls trips there's no vacations there's nothing we literally are sitting here grinding thinking of our future making moves trying to make sure we got all our shit together we are just not in a position to go anywhere you know what i'm saying like and we're okay with that so yeah we, we we really ain't got it to even go to detroit real quick or chicago real quick like we could but at the end of the day how much money we gonna have for the groceries or how much money we gonna have for an emergency you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day we just can't get up and go like everybody else you know what i'm saying because we are having tunnel vision right now and we just trying to we trying to make it you know what i'm saying so with all of that being said, when you start making those setbacks, when you start, like, you know, being tight and being strict and being focused, you lose a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of family members, a lot of people that you thought was going to have your back are absolutely not going to have your back. That is the one of the, I think, the hardest lessons we learn and we um, go through as far as being broke and making sacrifices. Those people you thought was going to hold you down are probably not. Those people you think supposed to love and support you are probably not. They're most likely talking about you behind your back. They're most likely passing judgment on you. And they're most likely um, not really caring about what you got going on and how you're going to do it. Because nobody cares. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you're in a position, if that's a decision you make, make sure that that's something that you want for yourself. And if you're going through it with somebody else, make sure it's something that that person wants because you're going to need each other. You're going to need to hold each other up when you're feeling down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's, it's hard. You want to give up a lot. You want to um, throw in the towel, basically, and say, Shit, the hell with this. Let me get back to this raggedy nine to five. Let me just live paycheck to paycheck forever because this process is just too long. It's too hard. But at the end of the day, it's like we almost there. You know what I'm saying? Like keep pushing, keep going, just keep swimming. You feel me? So that's another huge thing that people don't really talk about. It's not, It's almost like, um, you know, it's like water under the bridge. Like, oh, people fell off. That's cool. Whatever. I mean, you see people posting on Instagram and Facebook about how people change, how people switch up when you start getting focused and working towards goals or whatever. But it's not something that you really try to focus on. But it is a it's a big deal. It happens a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like people that you grow up with, people that you would have been there for. They're most likely not going to be there for you. They're most not. They're most likely are going to turn their backs on you because nobody is willing to sacrifice because you sacrifice nobody is willing to pick up the slack because you know you down at the moment like it, it doesn't happen often and when you do find friends like that stick to them hang on to them because they are pretty much solid for life when you hit your lowest point in your life when you broke when you don't have money when you can't turn up when you can't you know always have money to do this that and the third you will definitely see who's in your corner that saying is so true like and i feel like god brings us to this point just so we can see who's there who's really there and who's really not because this part of life is so temporary being broke is super temporary especially when you have goals especially when you hard work and especially when you ambitious and especially when you determine when you know your worth and you know what you're capable of is temporary trust me so if anybody's in a position where they're like they're scared they don't know what it's gonna be like they don't know if they can do it just do it just do it it's not gonna be easy it's it's hard it sucks um it's depressing at times because obviously we all want to be in the in crowd we all want to be cool we all want to hang out but at the end of the day the long-term goal the bigger picture is worth that small setback be broke for a little bit sit back focus meditate talk to god figure it out 
let people fall out your life let people turn their back let those doors get closed in your face because when you got god and you have purpose nothing and nobody is gonna stop it so being broke is a blessing and a curse but it's worth it it's not gonna last forever so that is my short little snippet of me ranting and raving because honestly oh here's another thing i can't get on here and talk about makeup tutorials and do makeup and be all cute because guess what i can't afford it i can't afford to buy all the hot newest stuff like i can't afford to get some lashes from lily lashes i can't afford all the stuff from bh cosmetics anastasia beverly hills mac cosmetics hell to the no i'm wearing l'oreal true match foundation i got me a little bit of color pop by the way color pop is very affordable even though it's like one of those big like mainstream makeup lines right now they're very affordable so just just so y'all know I, I mean who cares but just so y'all know but um so yeah so me getting on here acting like i got all this like going on or whatever it ain't it's not going on y'all i am broke i am focused i am determined so it's all temporary but it's worth it so and i hope y'all enjoy my moment of honesty again my moment of being transparent because this is kb's life and this is my way and this is what i want to do and this is how i want to share it with you guys so with that being said don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe and if you're my family this is what i have noticed though like some people do share my videos but i guess like on facebook or whatever i don't see that you're sharing it like i don't i don't know unless you tag me so if you're like a family member a friend or whoever you are that's sharing my uh videos on facebook make sure you tag me so i can see it so i can say thank you so i can show you you love and return and all of that jazz so yes don't forget to like and subscribe um share show the love and let's stay real let's stay humble and let's stay connected with each other all right that's it y'all yo so i forgot i told you i was gonna give y'all like this super quick tour of the attic that the space that we live in the attic so don't blink this is the bed this is where we sleep that's our ac because it's hot as hell up here that's our little fan because it gets that hot don't mind the bed and the linen y'all we i'm not a perfectionist all the time so this is that here's our tv here's our refrigerator here's our couch this is where we sleep i mean this is where we sit and chill and watch tv sometimes i get on my computer and edit videos there let's go back here to the i'm gonna show y'all so here's my little selection where i might come get my little church dress uh oh let me get that let me get that let me get that so yeah this is my church dress selection i got about four or five dresses that i picked from there that i wear to church on repeat i ain't got no shame in my game the jumpsuits that i tell y'all i have in rotation boom 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 and they're like the little hair on pants so they like the little hammer pants at the bottom so just real nice and real comfortable i don't have um a job so you know it's not like i'm going anywhere so comfy mommy clothes on repeat and then here's the dress i wear for my birthday and we did buy me a new dress for my birthday so yeah it was my birthday why not you know turn up so that's it y'all this is our little this is our little station temporary place of residence I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye-bye.